If you're wondering what streaming services still work on an old iPad 2, I decided to install some of the apps. Uh, all these apps are not supported anymore. Um, and so I made a list of what's available. Uh, YouTube doesn't work, actually. <laughs> All these apps uh, are not supported, so you have to da download them through the purchase folder of App Store. So let me see if I can roll up App Store for you. So load up App Store, and you can't just search for the app and install it uh, on iPad 2, maybe I think iPad 3 and iPad 4. You have to go to your purchase folder. From there, search for the app, or if you can find it on the main screen of your purchase folder, uh, you can just install it by pressing the cloud icon and then it'll tell you oh we found an older version for you to install so uh, example of that would be maybe like uh, sorry I don't have it but anyways I'm just saying this is the way to go around about and install an older version. If you don't have it in your purchase tab, then you will need to uh, share a iTunes account and lo log it in through uh, you know an, an iPhone, a newer iPhone or iPad, and then purchase the app on the shared ID, Apple ID, and then it'll become available over here. And so I was able to install a few apps. Uh, there's some that I couldn't. So YouTube doesn't work, sadly. Uh, it'll just give me this error message. Uh, the nice thing is Netflix still works, uh, even though it's an unsupported browser. Uh, unsupported app so you can see it's gonna come up here and say error loading tap for retry uh, nothing will get it to work I try going to a different menu and seeing if I can get to it even if I search for a video like let's say spider even if you try to search nothing comes up it'll always say error loading retry uh, you can watch YouTube on an iPad too uh, by opening up a browser, Chrome or Safari, and then opening up YouTube through uh, the browser. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, again, Netflix works, which is nice. I use Netflix all the time. So I'm trying to kill the bad thing about using this old... Uh, uh, tablet is I can only run one app at a time it's just asking too much to have multiple sessions open and so you can see it loads up and I can watch my favorite show currently I'm watching a lot of K-dramas and so you can see it loads up and I was watching Sound of Magic it's nice because it's only six episodes not like the typical uh, 12 or 16 episode Korean drama. So you can see Netflix works. Surprisingly, YouTube Kid works. Let's see, it's loading. So YouTube doesn't work, but YouTube Kids works. I'm going to pick a profile, and now obviously something like Ryan's kid's going to show up, or Blippi. So there's Blippi. Kill that. To my surprise, one surprise was uh, Prime Video actually works with my iPad too. You're probably wondering by now, like, what doesn't work? Hulu doesn't work. Disney Plus doesn't work. Um, 
And there's some other ones. But I'm just going through the ones that do work. So you don't have to even watch this video. You could just look at the list. So I was watching Waterboy. Uh, and I'm watching the free version through Freevee. I don't have a, what's it called? A, a actual Prime Video. So I'm just watching through a, a guest account right now. You can see it works. So that works fine, to my surprise. Uh, Funimation works. They let me watch free stuff as a guest account too. So I'm just going through this so you know I'm not making stuff up. And so on Funimation, if you don't have an account, you go to the very bottom and you can watch stuff ads with those ad supported. You can see, so I can watch something on here. Uh, one of my favorites, One Piece. They actually even had Shield Shield Hero, uh, or the Rise of Shield Hero, or something. So let me try episode one if it loads. Uh, quite a few apps just get stuck on uh, streaming apps get stuck in the very beginning and they don't get any further than this. But you can see it loaded the commercial. It'll probably load the video. Uh, let's try PBS videos. Also, another reason for showing this is just to show you how slow things load on an iPad, too. Uh, this is probably very similar to a performance that you'd have with an iPad 3 and an iPad 4. Um, I definitely suggest not. Um, you can see it crashed. Uh, if you're going to get an iPad used don't get an ipad air the first generation ipad air or anything older than that so like let me watch this i say that because uh those only have one gigabyte or less of ram and they don't have the latest version of ios so you can see pbs video worked fine Plex works fine, just take my word. It does crash sometimes. Uh, PBS video works for uh, PBS Kids video works. Um, but I still wouldn't suggest buying any. Uh, iPad Air 2 is just such an old iPad now and has a lot of things that are breaking down on it. So I can click on, let's say, this character. I don't know who this is. I've never seen this cartoon. But you can see it's showing the... going to show the video soon. Um, in terms of uh, uh, streaming music, I tried both Pandora and Spotify. Both of them work. Pandora runs smoother even though it's an unsupported app on this iOS version uh, let's try to turn up the volume a little bit okay I was listening to BTS a little bit You can see. I think it runs pretty smooth, even for an old iPad. So now, Spotify has issues. It has the same type of problem with uh, YouTube, where it has trouble finding stuff. But, 
if you search for music, then you can get to the music or add a library. So you can see it says error, try again, error, try again. So if I go to browse, it gives me the error, try again problem. The nice thing about Spotify is you can still use the app, even though it's not support. You just go to, uh, you can either search and you can see over here, sorry about this. I did a search for BTS and came with butter. And if I play it, it'll play the music. So that's one way. Or if you click to your library, you can add a playlist and listen to music. So surprise, Spotify works even though it's partly broken. Um, these are the three social media apps that even though they're not supported officially because they're outdated, can work. TikTok has the worst experience because it's just uh, just too much stuff going on. Crashes like once or twice. No, I mean, it crashes while loading quite often. It takes a while to load. You can see I'm still waiting. And then it crashes. Uh, I'm kind of hoping you'll take my word that it does work eventually. And I've actually never used TikTok. Uh, I actually just installed it so I could try it out here. And it was my first time. And it was, I'm not a big TikTok person. And I don't really care for music and people talking and doing music. And so here, you can see it finally loaded, and I can go to Discover. And you see it finally loads up random videos of people trying to get your attention. And I just want to close that. And again, uh, I think probably Twitter works the best out of all the social media stuff. Because it's just a bunch of text and pictures, and if you want to watch the video, you just click on the video. Uh, Facebook had the, uh, I don't think Facebook runs that well. And it'll probably become outdated soon. So you can see I can scroll through. It's pretty simple. I can search for stuff. If I want to. Wild Survivor, yay. Uh, and so it does work. And finally, uh, Facebook. Let me. I need to kill the app still. Facebook works surprisingly. Mm, don't know. Don't know. Don't know these people. So you can watch random stuff. So these are the streaming apps as well as uh, music streaming and social media apps that still work on an iPad too. Um, even though I could install Sony Crackle I think Sony Crackle works, so I'm going to give it a try. The nice thing about Sony Crackle is I could just install it normally. I didn't have to go through the purchase tab, and that's the reason why I put it there. Uh, I forgot to mention Sony Crackle works, so let's see if I can load one of these videos, like Sherlock. You can see Crackle's really slow. Technically speaking, it might work. Okay. I think it works, but... So I think it works. So, to end it, 
in the description you'll see the some apps that I did try installing and that said it might work but it doesn't Tubi doesn't work IMDB doesn't work these two have like connection problems when you actually click on the video it just doesn't load or it gives you an error um, and I think CBS and NBC will force you to try to update as well as Crunchyroll let's try Crunchyroll So these are the apps that you could install, but it'll give you errors. You see it says unauthorized request, so you can't go any further. As well as Voodoo. Voodoo, I can't even log in. Voodoo gives me issues of login issues. Um, here on my notes, I wrote one last thing where I wrote a list of some apps I can't even install, uh, like Roku. So I had mentioned Disney Plus and Hulu I can't download. Um, even though if I purchase it, it's in my purchase folder and I try to download, it says I can't. Um, HBO Max I can't download. Peacock I can't download. Pluto, CBS, and Twitch. As well as Roku, Instagram, and Snapchat. You can't even find the app if you look inside of the app store. So I'll put that in the description of what's not working. Hopefully this answered some questions and you weren't too bored. Have a good day.